I am in the spirit. You know, my guy. Oh, arrow doesn't connect. Uh, Torrent will though. Just throwing down the split, the skill shots on the poor gunner here. Uh, but the Tidebringer also not connecting. Do you need to wait out the X? Jesus, so much damage from these Tidebringers. I mean, it's, it's insane. Oh, oh what the? What? what? He hooked him. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. Dude, Gunner, that is just... the... Dude, what? what? Just... Gunner, God. Oh, my God. He's going to get the kill, too. He's going to go in for the kill. Gunner, oh, my. Dude, he dodged the X mark. He dodged the hook. He dodged everything. He dodged the seal. Where... You know, Ember, Ember, Death Prophet, or PA could all pop off. Nice roll in, kickback, nice. Gunner. He's gonna take so much damage here. They, uh, if they land this split Earth, this could be a kill. We tried nice to dodge. use the illusion split right shield to dodge. Is? He's gonna turn it out. Ooh. Actually kills the Earth Spear. May kill Quinn as well. The Verifier goes off. Gunner got this. What a double kill. This is why you ban Gunner Ember Spear. This guy on the PA. You buy Mac. Husky. Sound sub, oh. though he may not even get off the goal in here. He does have buyback, so certainly gonna have to use MSS. He was in pretty deep, and he's immediately gonna die as Gunner shows himself in this team fight. This is actually looking a little dicey here for Quincy Crew, as you are trying to make his way out with the healing ward. It's staying alive through all of this. A nice battle fury hit, blocked back with the spike hair face. That's gonna stun him up. The golem gets dropped onto the two there. Yawar still had the spin, though. Start, tries to stick on top of Gunner, but can't really do it. Now he's underneath the upheaval. Fortunately, he's able to mantle off on the edges and start booking it away. Monkey's forever halted in his tracks by a nice split or stun. Yule Scepter going off at the same time, so they're going to come back down to Earth at the same time. Monkey's forever is going to go down first, and Leshrac does die to Gunner, but Gunner, he's one of the last ones left alive here. He's going to try and juke back in. Goes for the slight, does a good amount of damage. Double Remnant, and he jumps away to the last Remnant that was still... Maybe he didn't. He ran in. With a little armor. He's like, don't attack me. That's about <laughs> it. But yeah, like you said, with the, uh, ooh, again, they're making moves on Kostabile, but uh, might have gone a little bit too far because they are hanging out right by that shrine. And now Gunner, he's getting stun locked up a little bit. They can't seem to move forward because the fish is the Guardian Angel being thrown out again. Gunner, he's just trying to run himself out. Tiny Hog on this case. Oh my, throwing him up in the air. They need a little bit more damage. The Fissure comes out from Fleeto. It comes to Blood Rain. He doesn't manage to get hit by it. And he's going to be able to get out. What is this Gunner outplaying Demon Slayer? They're still going. They might have chased a little bit too far here. If, if Gyro is alive, what does Gyro do? He farms. If you kill Gunner, they can't make plays. This play right here is only, like, it's only possible because Gunner is alive, because he's the one making it. That's true. Spear Vessel gets placed over on I and I, right? Schwan still nearby. It's almost like I dare you to touch him. Come on in. Yeah, Come here, guys. Oh, my kid, right next to Skeeter. They're going to go in there. It's going to be a big call down. Trying to take down Schwan. They'll take him out almost immediately. And now Old White, he's taking a lot of damage. That BKB popped on Skeeter. Plus the fact that Universe has a Guardian Angel. They will be able to take down the Tiny. As Gunner now, he's trying to chase after them here. They have to get close to layout. Beautiful Fissure Flea. And the Echo Slam. It's beautiful. They take down one. Can they get another? No, Kostabile, he gets taken down again. He's not surviving these fights, Lizard. At least in this fight, they also took down Skitter and perhaps they can find more. But they need... Com they, they have links. They, they have, have links. links. They're, They're looking Blink for Lee, throwing it out. Gunner managing to hold him back, but the toss coming out from Old White Eye and Ale. He's body blocked. He's got the Ghost Shroud up. And he just can't seem to take any of He's so tanky. We talked about him on the back lines, too. Gunner, he's found himself fleet. He manages to go get a kill with a little help from Viper. And he's not done yet. He wants to go right back in. There's going to be letting it go. Oh, Feeder. They go. They throw out that disruption over on the side onto I and Buys him a little bit more time. They lose Old White. I and He's got to get out of there. He's pretty survivable, but he's not survivable enough. Also, they, I believe they used two buybacks in that last team fight. They used the tiny buyback and the Shadow Demon buyback. And overall, for NIP, I think this game is in a really good spot, and they should feel super comfortable going into late game. It's pretty scary right now, too, the fact that you've just got a BKB picked up on Gunner. And it's really going to come down to who can get the initiation first. Juan has to get out of there right now. Oh, disruption coming out. A Spear Vessel goes for their support staff. Juan, he still doesn't look like he's going to be able to make it. But look at that, that BKB in because Gunner. He's not quite... Oh, there's a Greaves, though, coming out. Juan going to be able to survive this? Not with Gunner running at him like this. Oh, the toss, though, from Hold White. Ah, he's still ticking down. Oh, that's that Spear Vessel. He's going right in. Oh, oh. no! Oh no, Flea. What did you do? Where are the voice?
Rocky Mage without Battle Fury. He's at 500. How? Nobody knows. This boy, he just brings gold into the game and he just takes it out halfway through the game. It's like, oh, it's like the trump card. Gunner, can you evade this? Nice light of fist. He didn't really consistent in evading these things. If Gunner was as good mechanically as he is in positioning, I don't know why he's playing such a sacrificial role. I don't know if this is on purpose. He's creating a lot of space for his team, though, I will say. And the bottle actually kills him, keeps him healed and safe. They get a kill onto aid in the middle lane. And been the best at baiting, but Miser has been the best at creating the space, honestly. He's done so much work for his team. And HFNK has been the best at farming, almost getting his battle fury. I think he might actually have a minute 13. This is ridiculous. It's such a quick battle here. If you consider that you have power treads plus rate bands. Dyer's top is under okay, bottom lane. Oh, they missed the echo slam. Oh, they they tip gunner there because he does deserve that. He's just gonna die pretty quickly, Dark's here. With the vacuum wall though, Paul, and the offense oh, bomb out. They are kind of stuck in these cogs. As Brewmaster gets picked up before he can a split with the Echo Slam yeah, from oh. New Shaw, and Turtle Heavy goes down. The Battle Trance could not save an ultra kill for Gunner though. In the midst of it all, it was just a complete cluster of a fight. And Ember Spirit comes out on top of it in the end, as you'd expect. And now they're gonna run down limp. Is he gonna actually get a rampage out of this? Uh, Breathe fire. Probably not, as IX Mike even goes down to the. <laughs> Radiant's middle tower is under attack. under attack.
middle tower is under attack. 